Miami home prices from August to September 2021 dropped over 3% and over 5% from July. Here is what you must know. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sharon Colon, your favorite real estate agent in Miami, Florida. Probably we are going to find in this video people saying that the market is going to crash. And you know, let's take a look at the data and information for us here because there is good information. First of all, please make sure to drop your comments below. I want to know from you if the market is crashing, is the market dropping, is the end or is this seasonal? What do you think is happening? Let's hear from you in the comments below. Okay, so I'm going to start with these two titles. There is a good reason to get back in the home and condo market in Miami. And Miami breaks two more sales records with historic September. New Miami records for most September sales and most Miami total condo sales in a year. And in here, the highlight of this news is Miami-Dade County continues to break home sales records, registering its best September sales month in history and establishing a new mark for the most annual total Miami condo transactions in only nine months, according to the Miami Association of Realtors and the MLS. As you guys heard, September was another crazy month in the Miami real estate market. So let's take a look at this past month. Last month in September, 1,241 single family homes were sold, which is actually down 5.2% from August with 1,309 closed and down 3.6% year over year from September 2020 with 1,288. Yes, we're seeing a decrease here in both month over month and year over year. And I want you to pay attention to this particular data. And definitely one of the reasons for the decrease is because of lack of inventory, but we are aware about that. It should be noted that when this news shows that two new records were broken in September, they refer to total sales, okay? First, I'm breaking down the single family homes for you and then I'll talk about the condos, right? So, the median sale price for single family homes in September decreased to $485,000 and that is an 11.5% increase from September 2020. However, here's the thing. There has been a trend of a decreasing median sale price since July. I have been monitoring the numbers and yes, let me show you this. We can not only talk about the year over year data, we must compare what has been happening or trends in the last month. And yes, as you can see in July, the median sale price was $515,000, then decreased to $500,000 in August and now to 485,000. Even more, if we see this chart a little behind from let's say April to May, it decreased and then remained the same. So definitely the market is sort of adjusting a bit or has been adjusting, right? So according to this new information of, um, you know, home purchasers can shop and save across South Florida while sale prices continue to drop indicating some relief from record-breaking sales cost earlier in the year, right? Meaning buyer is time, it's time to come back. Let's talk now about the shortage of supply for single family homes in Miami. So for starters, new listings decreased from September 2020 with 1.9% and from August 5.5% meaning the month's supply of inventory for single-family homes decreased 42.1% to 2.2 months from last year, which indicates a seller's market. Now let's talk about luxury homes. To start with, Miami luxury sales jump, right? We are aware about that because the Northeast and West Coast buyers are, you know, keep moving to our area. Single family luxury home transactions in Miami jumped 31.4% year over year to 209 sales in September. 
The highest home was sold for 33 million. A six bedroom gorgeous waterfront estate with over 8,000 square feet located on the prestigious guard gated enclave of Huge Cove. The luxury months of supply continue to trend downward for all property types month over month and year over year. Right now, there are 3.9 months of supply in luxury single family homes and 9.4 months supply of inventory for luxury condos. But the previous month, August, there were 4.0 for luxury single family homes and 9.8 months of supply in luxury condos. We had a total of 1,601 new listings, which is down from September 2020 with a 1.9% decrease from last year. And as far as the median time to contract in September was 18 days, a 43.8% decrease compared to last year, which is, you know, that means it's faster. Relocation. Almost every week, another major American corporation makes a decision to relocate or establish their offices in Miami. For example, Microsoft, a Seattle-based firm, has revealed intentions to establish a regional center in Latin American offices in Miami. International businesses are also looking uh, to establish offices here in Miami. And with so many American organizations and individuals relocating to our region in the last year, many of those moving home purchasers are taking advantage of the condo availability. International buyers who have long favored condos have increased demand for Miami real estate, which has been weakened by a lack of inventory. Now, Let's talk about that. Let's talk about the condo and townhouses market. So I started this video talking about the two new sales records, right? One for September total sales and the other most Miami total condo sales. Well, in September, Miami's existing condo sales increased 45.2% from 1,233 from last year to 1,790. Miami has already broken the previous year's record of 17,142 condo sales in 2013 in nine months with 17,942 condo transactions. And this is huge, guys. Of course, this has a lot to do with, you know, what I just mentioned about people moving to Miami from California, from New York, but also from international buyers and investors, you know, looking for great opportunities here in town. In fact, there are new projects in town for investors looking to have 100% flexibility of renting their investment condos as, you know, as a short-term rental, uh, maximizing their return. If you by any chance, if you're interested to know more about this, because this is bringing a huge, uh, flux of investors. So if you would like to get more information, please complete the form below and I will, I'll make sure to send you this information. The median sales price for condos decreased to 330,000 in September from 335 in August. And the median time to contract remains the same 35 days in September and 41.7% decreased from September, 2020. Meaning in terms of how fast the condo market in Miami is moving, well, it's moving really quick. For new listings, 2,460 new listings came to the market and that is just a 0.7% increase from last year and actually a 3.8% decrease compared to August with 2,556. And a month supply of inventory for condos decreased 68.8% to 4.3 months, which indicates a seller's market. The prior month, August, we had 4.6 and in July, 4.9 months. It keeps getting more and more competitive month over month, right? Here are my insights, guys. So we're not seeing the same craziness of buyers, you know, searching for their homes, meaning if you decided to put your home search on hold, Come back, come back now. Home buyers can definitely save now having the low interest rates, but also sales price decreasing. If this trend of sales prices continue to go down, 
we know what is going to happen, right? The interest rates are going to increase. So take advantage of somewhat both worlds of low interest rates and low sales prices, right? Prices have been on a decline for houses and for condos since August, okay? Plus, you might not have to compete against 15 other offers like we saw this year. Sellers, if you have been having thoughts of selling, sell soon, my friend. Sell now. Get everything the market is you know, giving you. Catch your equity gain in this crazy period before you lose it. Waiting won't help you at all, my friend. So you can have at least, I will say, $70,000 easily if you bought your property last year. And my best advice is to complete the formula. Let's check what's your new home value in today's market. As always, if you would like to download the full report provided by the Miami Realtors, I have posted a link down in the description box below for you to get it. And if you found this video helpful, please let me know by hitting that like button and don't forget to what? To smash that subscribe button as well. And remember to be nice and please be kind. See you next Thursday.